Good morning, and welcome to St. Denis Catholic Community. Happy Pentecost. Today the church celebrates Pentecost Sunday. And for those watching at home, please participate in the Mass as much as you can by saying the responses and prayers aloud and by standing, kneeling, and sitting at the appropriate times. To help you to participate, there is a worship aid on our website. Just go to the live streaming slash media section of our website, stdenis.org, S-T-D-E-N-I-S, and click on the worship aid. In addition, you can type your prayer intentions into the comments section on Facebook or YouTube, because during the universal prayer, we will lift up to God all of the prayers in the comments sections. I invite you now to please stand and join in singing, Come Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Welcome everyone to this Mass here at St. Denis as we celebrate on this the Sunday of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came down upon the Apostles in the upper room. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's first acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God have Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you 
take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there are devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd. But they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We're Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, 
God sent out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, Lord send out your spirit, spirit and renew, and renew the, the face of the earth. Of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh God, O oh Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, Lord send, send out, out your, your spirit, spirit and, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ, for in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons. And if we were all given to drink of one spirit, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I invite you to join in singing today's sequence. Come, O oh Holy Spirit, come. And from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, O oh Father of the poor, come, O oh source of all our store, come within our bosom shine. You of comforters the best, you, the soul's most welcome guest, 
sweet refreshment here below. In our laborious, most rich, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of war. Oh, most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours, and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not, shine nothing good indeed for thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away, and the stubborn heart and will melt the frozen warm the chill. Guide the steps that go away. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore, in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtues to reward, give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive, are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ.
After Jesus' ascension into heaven, his disciples didn't know what to do. They were uncertain and unsure. They felt abandoned, alone, and leaderless because Jesus was no longer with them. So they huddled together in an upper room and devoted themselves with one accord to prayer. They didn't venture out into the world because they feared that the authorities would torture and kill them the way that the authorities had tortured and killed Jesus. But all of that changed at Pentecost, which is described in today's first reading from Acts of the Apostles. At Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came down upon the apostles in a very powerful way. While they huddled together in the upper room, a noise like a driving wind filled the entire house, and tongues as of fire came to rest on each of them. And because they were open and receptive to God's will, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. This baptism in the Holy Spirit transformed the apostles from a motley group of frightened individuals into the mystical body of Christ and enabled them to begin the great evangelizing mission that Jesus had given them before his ascension. Specifically, the Holy Spirit gave the apostles the courage, the drive, and the wherewithal to leave the safety of the upper room and to address the large crowd that had gathered. By the power and presence of the Holy Spirit, they were able to speak and preach and be understood by everyone in different languages. In fact, they proclaimed the good news of Jesus Christ to the crowd so eloquently and persuasively that 3,000 people were baptized that very day. And for the rest of their lives, the apostles were on fire with the Holy Spirit, who led, guided, and empowered them to fulfill the great mission that Jesus had entrusted to them, namely, to be his witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth, including throughout the Roman Empire. Ever since this first outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost 2,000 years ago, Jesus has continued to send the Holy Spirit down upon his disciples in every generation to fill them with his Spirit. We first received the Holy Spirit in the sacraments of baptism and confirmation. Through our baptism and confirmation, the Holy Spirit makes his dwelling in us and fills us with the Spirit of Jesus. And through this indwelling of the Holy Spirit, we are never alone because God is always with us and within us in all that we do, in our struggles and difficulties, in our triumphs and victories, in the good times and the bad times, and everything in between. Unfortunately, many Catholics don't realize that through the Holy Spirit, God is always with us and never abandons us. Therefore, instead of relying on the Holy Spirit and turning to him for guidance and help, many Catholics go it alone and try to be self-sufficient and self-reliant. 
They try to figure out things for themselves without considering what God wants for them and how the Holy Spirit is trying to lead and guide them. And so they make important decisions without considering God's will at all. For example, decisions about where to go to college and what to major in. Decisions about what career to pursue and where to live. Whether to marry and whom to marry. Whether to have children and how many children to have. Whether to change jobs and when to retire. That's how I lived the first 40 years of my life. Even though I had received the sacraments of baptism and confirmation, I didn't realize that the Holy Spirit was always with me and was trying to lead and guide me every step of the way. And so I made every decision in my life without considering God's will for me. Somehow, I thought that I had to figure everything out for myself because I had never learned to turn to God for help. Thus, I made a lot of wrong decisions, such as what to major in in college, where to go to graduate school, and what career to pursue after law school. In my late 30s, I was working as a lawyer in a law firm <clears throat> and doing quite well from a worldly perspective. But I was deeply unhappy because I wasn't doing what God wanted me to do. Thanks be to God, the Holy Spirit hadn't abandoned me and was still with me. First, the Holy Spirit prompted me to start reading the daily Mass readings every day. And by reading the Bible daily in this way, I began to hear and recognize God's voice. And I learned how God acted in the lives of the people in the Bible. Second, after reading the daily Mass readings every day for almost three years, the Holy Spirit led me to start praying the rosary every day. And he taught me to focus on the mysteries of the rosary, which were all about Jesus and his life. And by meditating on the mysteries of the rosary in this way, I began to realize how my life is connected with and corresponds to Jesus' life. Reading the Bible each day and praying the rosary every day made me open and receptive to the Holy Spirit. And I started to live in a different way. Instead of thinking that I was on my own and had to figure out everything for myself, I started to rely on and trust in the Holy Spirit, who eventually prompted me to quit my job as a lawyer and enter the seminary to become a priest. And ever since then, I've relied on the Holy Spirit more and more. And I'm so much happier now than I was when I worked as a lawyer because with the help and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, I'm finally doing what God wants me to do. The Holy Spirit is there for all of us, not just for priests and religious. He wants to help everyone discern God's will for them and to do his will. And when we are attentive and responsive to God's will for us, when we live in accordance with God's plan for us, 
then our lives are happier and more fulfilling. And we can do more than we ever imagined. First, though, we have to be open and receptive to the Holy Spirit. And what worked for me was reading the Bible and praying the rosary every single day. Now let us profess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven, heaven and earth, earth, and in, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, his, his only, only Son, our Lord, our Lord, who is conceived, conceived by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius, Pontius, Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, was crucified died, died, and was buried. And was buried. He, he descended into hell. hell. On the, On the third, third day, he rose, rose again, again from, the dead. from the dead. He ascended, he ascended into, heaven into heaven and is seated, seated at the right hand, hand of God, God the Father, Father Almighty. Almighty. From, from there, there he will, will come, come to judge the, the living and the dead. dead. I believe in the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life, and life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Moved by the Holy Spirit, whom we received with the waters of baptism, we pray to God with confidence. For the church, may we, empowered by the Holy Spirit, faithfully give witness to the gospel and continue Christ's mission of bringing hope and healing to those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the United States, may we work for justice for victims of racism and prejudice, and may peace prevail in our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For first responders, including those who are serving on the front lines in the fight against COVID-19, and those who are trying to bring peace in the midst of widespread civil unrest, may they be protected from all harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For youth and adults who are preparing to receive the sacrament of confirmation, may they be blessed with a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the special intentions of Roxana Polio on our birthday, and St. Dennis parishioners for whom this Mass is offered and for those who have requested our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, including all who are suffering because of COVID-19, may they be healed and restored to good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, including Teresa Martinez, Ros Rosnaldo Bryan, and for Chaitan Garcia, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who need our prayers, and for all the prayers of intentions that are listed in the comment section of Facebook and YouTube for this Mass. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, please hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite you to join in singing by the waking of our hearts. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice sacrifice at your your hands for the praise praise and glory glory of his name, for our our good and the good good of all his holy holy church. church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice, and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with with your your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We We lift lift them up up to to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for bringing your paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an everlasting gift to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with all of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, Saint Denis 
and with all of your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from, evil. from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the power, power and, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. And for those of you at home, I encourage you to offer a sign of peace to others in your household, even if they are not watching Mass with you right now. Or you can type in words of peace into the comments section and offer a sign of peace to others in our virtual Mass community. And we'll pause briefly here to allow you to do that. A new stay, quit all is peccata mundi. Miserere nobis, anius Dei, quit olis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, 
And now let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are, you are present, present in the most, in the holy, most holy sacrament. sacrament. I love, I love you, you above, above all things, things and, and I, I desire, desire to receive you into my soul. My soul. Since, Since I cannot I now at this moment receive you sacramentally, sacramentally come at least spiritually, spiritually into my heart. heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, there and, and unite, unite myself wholly to you. To you. Never, Never permit, permit me to be, to be separated, separated from, from you. you. Amen. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the, the word and my, my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Let us sing Spirit and Grace. Spirit and grace here in this place, you are the wind that breathes through the field. Gather the wheat and form us in Christ. Come be our source and breath of life. In the burnness broken and shared, Christ is our life whose presence we bear. Come, O oh Spirit, make your grace revealed in this holy meal. Spirit and grace, here in this meal, you are the life that flows through the vine. Gather this drink and form us in Christ. Come be our source and blood of life. In the bread broken and shed, Christ is our life whose presence we bear. Come, O oh Spirit, make your grace revealed in this holy Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her 
abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for Mass today via our live stream. I'm pleased to announce that starting next Sunday, June 7th, St. Dennis plans to reopen the church for public Masses. However, there will be serious restrictions on attendance at the Masses, the Mass Masses will have be restricted to 100 people, and there will be strict social distancing as well, including the wearing of face masks. Please note that no one is obliged to attend Sunday Mass at this time because Archbishop Jose Gomez has indefinitely dispensed everyone in the Archdiocese from this obligation. And even after reopening the church, St. Dennis will continue to live stream two Masses every Sunday and an 8 a.m. Mass every weekday. Therefore, those who are unable to attend Mass in person are encouraged to join us for our live streamed Masses. We live stream via our Facebook page and then upload the video shortly thereafter to our YouTube channel. Some details about the reopening including the schedule for the public masses on Sunday, June 7th, are still being worked out. And we will publish further information on our website in the next few days. Our website is stdenis.org, S-T-D-E-N-I-S dot org. Finally, please continue to support St. Dennis and our mission by going to our giving page, stdennis.org slash giving. We need and greatly appreciate your ongoing support. And one more thing, if you're watching this Mass live on Facebook, please stay online after the Mass concludes. The live stream will continue after the Mass. There's a beautiful postlude from our by our organist, Dr. Pat Patrick Rogers. And then after the postlude, I will greet people after the Mass. If you type in your greeting in the comments section on Facebook. So please stay tuned for that. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Please bow down for the solemn blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who is pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. 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 May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith. And by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended, go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God, God. alleluia, alleluia. You 
united in God's Spirit and with each other, let us sing Creator Spirit by whose aid. Thank you, Armida, from Laguna Hills. It's good to have you with us. Carmel, God bless you. Juan says happy birthday to Roxana. Happy birthday, Roxana. Helen, thank you for your kind words. Thank you, Gail, for watching with us. Flora, have a blessed week and a holy and happy and safe week as well. Anna. You too have a blessed day. Flora, 
Have a wonderful week as well. Linda, thank you for your kind words and encouragement. Leslie, thank you. It was a beautiful Mass. Uh, thanks especially to uh, Chit and her team for uh, helping decorate the church uh, so beautifully. Lihia, it's good to see you uh, in this virtual space. Pat, as well. Uh, Mercedes, Cell, Jim, thank you so much. Have a blessed week, all of you. Uh, Stephen, uh, we're glad to be here uh, to be able to celebrate this beautiful Mass today. Um, Gertrude, Kim, Flora, Edward, God bless you all. Have a very blessed and happy week. Sioni, Cecilia, Lita, Valerie, Stephen, Maria, thank you so much for, uh, for your, your kind words and your good wishes and prayers. Uh, Ariane, Jorge, Veronica, Maureen, good to see you, Maureen. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, hi, Jan, out there in uh, Claremont. <laughs> uh, Tony, Laura, Veronica, uh, Phoebe, Helen again, and Helene. Uh, Helene, thank you for watching today and for, uh, uh, for being a lector at our daily masses and sometimes Sunday masses as well. Eve and Roxana, happy birthday again. Uh, and I, I look forward to seeing many of you, or at least some of you, at our masses starting next weekend when we, when we start having public masses again. Please uh, look at the website for all the details that uh, are involved in uh, celebrating public masses uh, and you know, your responsibilities if you attend these masses. But as I mentioned, we'll continue to be doing our live stream masses uh, every weekday and twice on Sunday. So thank you all and have a very blessed Sunday. Happy Pentecost to everyone.